Okay, so this is another video I'm going to do on how to multicam edit. Uh, this is for a concert that I did. So this is a jazz concert, and I have six cameras. I have Canon main, Canon side, which was getting close-ups, and then I have the bass player, the drums in the back, drums in the front, and the piano. Um, and then I also have a um, audio file. I mix down all the audio tracks, and this is my audio file. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to create a multicam clip. So I'm just going to right click on this, doesn't matter which one, and just create an untitled multicam clip, it doesn't matter. And then I'm just going to drag that clip right here. And then I'm going to right click it. Now I'm in 10.3.4, um, but if you're in 10.4 uh, or on, you have to go up here and you have to find wherever it is to uh, open an angle editor but I'm gonna right click it and you can open an angle editor in the earlier version of Final Cut. So just get in your angle editor. I'm gonna pull this up here. And uh, first thing that you wanna do, whoops, sorry. First thing that you wanna do is add angles. So you just click on this little arrow. Uh, one, two, three, four, one more, add angle. Okay, so now you want to, uh, what you want to do, well, I guess I can do this first. Uh, I'm going to find a spot here that I can, let me get out of multi-screen mode here. First, I'm going to find a spot that I can line up. Let's see a good... So how about right there, my name. So right after he says name, okay? So we're gonna find that spot for every track. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on the track, make it yellow, and then you wanna press the M on your keyboard, and that'll create a marker. Or however you can create your marker is fine, it doesn't matter. That's how I do it. Okay, so now uh, I wanna put the uh, next angle in. So I'm gonna to go to, I'll just choose this one, Canon side, okay? I, I pressed record on these uh, similar time. Um, <coughs> but not the exact time, and this wasn't through time code. So now what you wanna do is you wanna monitor that angle, okay? And that's gonna be about right here. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 40th season of the traditional jazz series at the University of New Hampshire. Okay, it's right after this. My name is... Okay, right there, it's close enough and put an M there. All right, so as soon as you have that, then you wanna put this uh, this lock thing on, I forget what that's called, uh, snapping tool, and you wanna snap that to there. So now the markers are lined up, okay? I'm gonna add my other angles and do the same thing. So let's go with uh, piano next, I guess. Piano, and... I take the snapping tool off. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 40th season of the traditional jazz series at the University of Manchester. My name is Lee. My name is Right there. Okay, that's good. Oh, and you also want to label these too. I just like them in uh, caps fully. Okay, and I gotta drag this over. I'm gonna put my snapping tool back on. There you go. Okay, now I'm gonna do bass. It's probably gonna be around here somewhere. Take that snapping tool off because that can get annoying if you're if you don't if you're just trying to find spots here. There. Okay. Now we need that snapping tool back on. Get this thing out of the way. Whoops. Okay. And we're almost done. Drums front. Now I've already, um, you know, for things like uh, these were GoPros. Uh, so 
um, you can see this right here. This says that it's a compound clip. So I had to take, you know, the six or seven uh, GoPro files because it records them in four gigabyte chunks and uh, just select them all and turn them in the compound cl clips. And now it's a compound clip. So it's like it's one long clip uninterrupted. Tedious, but this is what you have to do. Otherwise, your computer will work way too hard to try to line this stuff up when you go ahead and um, try to sync stuff. All right, and last one is drums in the back. Oops. Okay. back on and there we go okay so now it's just a question of which one we want to line up to which uh, I don't think in this case it matters that much which one we're going to use is the main um, let's let's try it with the the front camera even though that's a hundred feet away 75 feet away from the stage so sometimes you can get a delay going um, but let's try that okay so you uh, select this um, this first camera here and you this is going to be your monitoring camera okay and then you go here and you select which one that you want to sync and you go to the arrow here and you say sync selection to monitoring angle <clears throat> okay and because you've gotten it so close already you're not making the computer work that hard okay if these were just imported in regularly and you tried to do this your computer I mean it could take all night if it even figured it out you can't have it too far off. Okay, see how fast that is now? So it's using the audio waveforms and it's figuring it out. And it's super quick. Okay, it's just nudging each of these probably just a tiny little bit. Okay, great, so there we go. So um, once you're done with that, then you can go back up to your show angles let me get rid of this oops okay um, I usually do this with two screens so I'm not used to doing it like this but um, I have more than oh we forgot to do uh, audio not that it matters but uh, let's see well it does matter but I think I started it a little bit earlier but we'll see Okay, now you got to go back to your main monitoring camera that you're monitoring from and say sync selection. Okay, all right, great. Now that we have that, now we can go back to our, um, let's get, get rid of this. Okay, now we're back here and I'm going to choose proxy files because when you're dealing with multicam video, especially now that we're in the 1080p and 4K age, uh, it can really be taxing on your computer. So just use your proxy files, which are just files that you're just going to work with that you're not going to export to. Um, and we need to, we have more than um, four, four angles here. So you have to choose nine angles. Okay. All right. So once we have nine angles and you can choose the order that you want. So if you want to change the order of any of these angles, like let's say you wanted to have whatever base all the way at the top then you have to go over here and grab it right there and then as you can see it moves it I actually liked it where it was okay all right so if I fast forward see now you'll see all of my angles um, the only other thing that you need to remember is let's see if we go back to our main screen here okay so now we're back at the main, whatever you call it, editing timeline screen. Um, these three things right here are important. I always have it on the blue because what that means is that I'm going to right click here. And my active video angle is the Canon front. Uh, my audio angle 
I want to have that as audio the entire time, okay? Because I'm just going to be using that as audio. So if I choose that as audio, um, then what happens is that um, when you when you want to make your cuts, this determines whether you're going to have a video cut with audio, or just a video cut, or just an audio cut. So if you had this chosen, and every time that you, you know you you press play and you're letting the video go, and you press and you press one of these to change angles and make a cut then it's just gonna cut the audio from each of those. It's just gonna go from audio to audio. If you had this, it would change the audio and the video from each one. I don't wanna do that because I have my own audio track. I just wanna change the, the video cut like a director would, right? Keep the audio the same. Um, so that's the only thing you need, to, you need to remember. All right, so I hope this helped you out making a multicam edit process. Uh, this is how I do it and um, yeah, hopefully this helps. All right, see you in the next one.